So, this is some weird shit. I mean, to be honest, it, it, it's only weird vicariously for me. I already work from home. My wife doesn't have a job. I don't have any kids to be home from school. I'm too misanthropic to be missing any socializing. So with the exception of a heated ongoing argument with my father-in-law about whether it's okay for him to keep going to Jerry J's every morning for breakfast, this pandemic hasn't changed anything in my life so far except movie release dates. But watching my friends and family, watching through the online window all across the nation and the world, this looks like some exceptionally weird shit. Now, it's not unprecedented. Despite our cultural complacency, the whole plague thing has been around quite a while. Humans have dealt with this every few generations since before we started writing shit down. You know, hell, given the timing of the Spanish flu, I don't even know that we can say that the speed of the spread is unprecedented. You know, we don't have millions of people all leaving the same war for every corner of the globe at the same time as this breaks out, after all. What is unprecedented, though, is the state of medical science. This is the first time modern medicine has had to face something on this scale. And of course, part of the reason it's never had to face this before is because it did such a bang up job of preventing it until now. But in so many ways, medicine was a victim of its own success. You know, the idea of a genuine pandemic seemed more like a movie premise than a genuine concern. And granted, every knowledgeable person knew that it was a very real possibility and that it had only narrowly been avoided several times over the past couple of decades. But you don't have to be knowledgeable to be in charge. So this is what we get. Here we are in the grips of a genuine crisis. And once again, everybody's agreed to call time out on all this religious bullshit and the alternative medicine bullshit and then sit back and watch science save the fucking day again. Right? I mean, don't get me wrong. We still got plenty of religious asshats to talk about this week. We're trying to cure COVID-19 with prayer and encouraging people to congregate in dangerously large numbers every Sunday morning. And there are plenty of demonic fucks who are hawking homeopathic corona cures. But as a whole, as a society, you know, we've told those dumbasses to stand aside while the adults do the work. Because as a nation, as a larger international culture, and to a great extent as a world, we are all atheists now when the chips are down. One worldview is better than the others because it's the only one that can actually do anything. And if religion was remotely the thing it sells itself to be, nobody would even have time for science right now. But no, everybody's just as religious now as they were before this shit started. Maybe even a little less so if they started thinking about what a dick move it was a God to go ahead with the pandemic plans. But everybody's all in on science. Right. Got a whole bunch of anti-vax natural green mommies just lining up asking Big Pharma to keep injecting shit into their arms until they run out of needles. A lot of diehard fundamentalists waiting until they're in the ER before they even start praying. But none of that is going to stop the religious leaders from taking credit once this shit is over. Right. They'll all join together and sing the praises of the merciful God who saved us from the thing he subjected us to on purpose. They'll pat themselves on the back for uttering magic wishing spells. They'll give Jesus credit for science's work, and they'll pretend that they didn't do anything to exacerbate the problem in the first place. And that's always disgusting, right? Like, it always pisses me off when religion forces itself between a human being and an accolade. But it's going to piss me off all the more this time because while the religious leaders were doing nothing at best, the people whose credit they're going to take are risking their goddamn lives for us. You know, the doctors, the nurses, the orderlies, those people are going into battle every day. And when it's all said and done and the bodies have been cleared off the battlefield, the religious leaders are going to march right to the center, pat the medical professionals on the back and tell them they're welcome. And while we're on the subject, I, I want to underscore that last point that Dr. Martini made in the Farnsworth quote. It is goddamn unconscionable that we are sending medical professionals to work without sufficient personal protective equipment. I, I mean, I, I know this is a show about atheism and I'm straying a bit off topic here, but I had several listeners reach out to me about this problem. Hey, people who are working in emergency rooms and being asked to reuse masks and gowns and shit, putting both their lives and the lives of their patients at risk. And they're so goddamn desperate here that they're bringing their problem to me. They're saying like, hey, man, you talk to more than fucking six people. Could you scream about this for us? And, and look, a whole bunch of us are stuck at home without anything to do right now anyway. So it seems to me we're in perfect positions to absolutely flood our Congress people's phones with calls about this shit. We're in a great position to plaster social media with calls to fix this fucking problem first and foremost. I, I, I'm not normally a big advocate of online activism, but this is one time we're staying at home and bitching about it on the Internet is exactly what's called for. And atheists are fucking awesome at that. Sorry. 
Look, I, I know you're drowning in pandemic news, and, and we're going to be talking about it for most of this show as well. I, I know it's hard to see this as anything but a historic tragedy unfolding around you. But in the grand scheme of things, if you can back up and take a look at for this from like a geological scale, the real story here isn't the pandemic. It's Dr. Martini. Right. It's the human beings on the front line that for the first goddamn time can meet plague on the battlefield and best it. I mean, yeah, she's going to need her fucking armor to do it. Right. And it would help if our dumbasses would stop wandering out in the middle of the battlefield and asking her about this rash. But we actually have the tools we need to win this one, or at least we theoretically could. We've been facing off against this same enemy since the dawn of our species, and we've never been able to beat it before, but we can this time. And it's precisely because we abandoned prayer and took our defense into our own hands. That is the history that you're living through. 